Hello friends, this is Durga from IT University. At this time we are talking about uh, Hadoop certifications. Uh, one of them is HDP certified Java developer. And I will try to cover the uh, resources to practice for the certification. You can practice pretty much on any uh, VM or any, on any Hadoop cluster uh, if you have access to. You can uh, 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 set up a VM on your PC uh, with plain vanilla Hadoop where you have only HDFS and uh, the resource manager and you can practice all the sessions by uh, uh, by following my videos and the code base which is on github but I will highly recommend you to use Hortonworks uh, 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 virtual machine to do that Hortonworks provides you Hortonworks sandbox or, uh, and uh, you can leverage that sandbox to practice all the uh, uh, sessions uh, which I will be covering as part of the uh, uh, the certification course uh, in my channel. So for that you have to google and search for Hortonworks Sandbox. Okay, it's a very, a very valuable uh, uh, resource to learn. It not only comes with the Hadoop, uh, uh, HDFS and YARN, it also have uh, almost the entire stack of uh, Hadoop in it. Uh, I have covered uh, Sandbox in detail uh, as part of other videos uh, on the same playlist. So there are two videos about HDP Sandbox um, uh, which includes the demo of HDFS as well as Hive. On top of that it has almost everything. Uh, you need to learn Hadoop not only within the scope of certifications but in general. But one caveat is you need to have at least 8 GB RAM uh, to run this uh, virtual machine because it has MySQL database, it has Ambari, it has the entire Hadoop ecosystem stack installed in it. If you don't have 8 GB RAM, you will uh, you will see a lot of productivity issues in that. You will waste a lot of time um, because your laptop will become slow and uh, uh, and also uh, your VM keep on crashing. For that reason, it will be better to go with sandbox, uh, sorry, uh, uh, sandboxes that are available in cloud. So if you don't have enough money to uh, provision the uh, resources, uh, or to upgrade your laptop to have 16 GB RAM, uh, it will be better to use the sandbox. You have one month trial, so it is completely free in that one month. So to to explore it, you can click on this. This uh, sandbox will be on Azure. For that, you need to have uh, an account in Azure, which I have covered uh, as part of a different playlist called Learning Resources. Uh, I am uploading that video which will cover uh, signing up uh, in AWS uh, and all. So you need to ha sign up for AWS. Once you have that, uh, you you can use that to provision uh, uh, a, a Hortonworks sandbox to practice for the certification as well as in Hadoop in general. Yeah, they have already account and I took the subscription. Uh, I will directly get into the portal, but if you don't take, if you did not take the subscription at the time of signing up, you can click on try it now. And if you already have the subscription for the account which you are trying to log in, it will say it already has the trial version uh, subscription. Here you can see that you already used your one free trial, or you are not eligible for it. So already I have the subscription. I can expand this to to view the details. And also I can go to the uh, Windows Azure portal using the link manage.windowsazure.com, hit enter. It will take you to the Windows Azure portal. And this is the old portal. If you go using manage.windowsazure.com, they have launched the new portal. You can use old portal also to get the sandbox, but I will highly recommend you to go to the new portal click on check out the new portal click on launch and it will take you to the new portal it will not prompt you to log in again it i think it is a single sign on uh, behind the scenes once you are here you can uh, uh, if you don't see marketplace here you can click on browse 
and scroll down and click on marketplace here as I have already visited it actually bookmarked there otherwise you will not see in the, uh, the marketplace for the first time you log in over there here you can say in the search everything you can say Hortonworks sandbox with uh, uh, HDP 2.3.2 and click on it and now you can click on this one so there are two versions of uh, uh, Hortonworks sandboxes one is classic and uh, other one is resource manager we want the resource manager so ignore the classic so leave the default which is resource manager here and then click on create now you it is asking to configure basic settings you can give the name i want to give the name as hdp2.3.2 so 232 uh, and i want to include itversity in it username okay it has warning so i cannot give dot here so i will just leave it as http 232 okay so it is the valid name username i will give it varsity password whatever i want and i want to use the free trial subscription resource group you can uh, uh, click on select existing if there is no, nothing you can say create new just say it varsity here location is us if you want to change you can click on this and you can change the location so there is one in southeast asia if you are an asian and if you want to use uh, asia you can use southeast asia and uh, you have central us east us etc i'm leaving with the east us click on ok okay password it is complaining that it is not strong enough so i'm giving a strong password here click on ok choose a size so i want to choose uh, uh, 8 cores 14 gb so you need to uh, do the pricing for it you need to make sure that it will not cost 12,100 rupees within a month right so you can go to google and click on azure pricing click on microsoft azure here there is a pricing link here and I'm, I'm planning to provision uh, 8 cores 14 GB which is approximately 357 actually they have given price here itself so this one cost you around 357 12 dollars in uh, US dollars so if you translate transfer if you convert it into rupees which is 67 rupees per month it will be like uh, three fifty seven dot one two into sixty seven it will be like twenty three thousand nine twenty seven even in us they will only give two hundred dollar credit so this is not a uh, ideal machine uh, to keep up and running all the time if you want you can try stopping it and cut down the cost uh, otherwise if you don't to mess it up um, mess up with it you can use two cores 14 gb also it will work without any issues so you can choose this one it is under 200 dollars but in rupees one eighty six one eighty six into 67 sorry 186 into 67 which is 12,462 rupees so you might end up paying little bit of money for this so you can sell but you can stop for a few hours uh, or if, if you stop it when it is not up and running uh, when you are not using it you, uh, your budget will be definitely much under 12,100 so you need not worry as long as you keep in mind that you have to stop the server click on ok click on ok
and then you can say purchase okay you do, you don't need to pay anything for hortonworks in this but uh, for microsoft you have to pay 25 cents per hour that's where your cost is okay you can say purchase and from that only they have calculated that 186 dollars uh, for the entire month so it will take a while to start this it might take 5 to 10 minutes you can click on that icon and it will take you to this tab which will uh, probably show you some progress here if you want to stop you can say cancel and if you want to go to the dashboard you can again click on microsoft azure and it will take you to the dashboard and you can click on this to see what's going on it's still in deploying state so it's been a while and you can see what's going on uh, one by one uh, it is showing uh, whether it is created or not the first one is it has created the virtual machine then it is it, it has set up the network and then it is saying everything else is okay let's see what will happen i think it's almost uh, uh, getting towards the end so it is still going on but you can click on virtual machines as it has shown it ha it is created and see the details of virtual machine while the deployment is still going on once you click on the name you will get the details about the public ip address so this is the ip address which you need to use to connect to this uh, virtual machine and we have already given the password and username while setting up the instance so let me copy the public IP address okay this is the DNS so DNS is not created yet once it is created you can actually use the DNS also so let me try pinging this one ping hdp 232 312 okay that will not work so i need to use the ip address itself it's a uh, ping 40.117.47.178 dot dot it is not pingable yet so we will see until it is done ok now it is created and this is the name of it so ping is not working but ssh is working ping is not working because the icmp protocol is the, uh, not opened uh, under the firewall so you, you can directly ssh onto the instance by running ssh it was t at 40.117.47.178 which is my public ip and here i have to give the password whatever i have given while creating the instance okay the username is not correct here it should be it city so now um, the configuration will look like um, means okay once you you successfully tested logging into the vm the next thing what you need to do is you need to take this public ip which we have used to log in and uh, go to the browser here you can say http col colon slash slash give that ip address colon 8080 is the port number for ambari So you can give this uh, IP address call 9080 and you can give admin admin. It will take little time once you start the cluster all the services uh, sorry once you start the um, sandbox all the services needs to be up and running and also somebody needs to be up and running and it will take some time uh, to get to that level. 
so these are the services which will be available on uh, the sandbox uh, so for for certification you just need uh, hdfs and yarn uh, with map reduced to rest of the stuff also you can explore on this vm so i have shown you how to log into the vm using ssh the username which you have given at the time of signing up uh, or provisioning the uh, vm and the ip address after it it has started and then enter password and you have to give the password which you have given while creating the instance and also you can see the ambari web console uh, for which username is admin and password is also admin ip address you have to get uh, from this dashboard so this is the public ip address which you need to use and 8080 is default ambari port number so you can use this environment for practicing hadoop on hortonworks platform and also for certification purpose so that being said um, a few things you need to keep in mind um, you can stop this uh, vm whenever you want to reduce the cost but when you restart it the ip address will change so every time you restart you have to fetch this ip address either to connect to ambari or to connect to the web console okay and also to submit the jobs you can uh, once you are inside uh, uh, once you are inside the uh, ser uh, server or vm you can run the commands the same way as I, i show as part of the main videos of the certification curriculum okay so enjoy the uh, free resource and uh, uh, stay focused on the relevant topics of the certification practice as much as you can and give the certification the sandbox is very very valuable resource and uh, also you need to keep in mind that uh, uh, the sub subscription will expire within a month after one month you have to pay for uh, both the microsoft and also might be for uh, 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 hot and works for using uh, their software so you need to be very uh, uh, particular about how much it will be after that period and you have to make sure that uh, you uh, you terminate the instance and all the dependent resources uh, to make sure that your credit card will not be charged i will uh, uh, i will uh, cover another video on that topic uh, to make sure that so, so that you make sure that all the resources are cleaned up Uh, uh, and your credit card is not charged and also while it is running uh, or whenever you log in you can go to the cost by clicking on uh, go to the dashboard and here you can click on subscriptions <laughs> to see the breakdown of of the charges Uh, the charges might not be reflected immediately uh, it will take a while and then you can keep track of those things here so once you terminate the cluster which i will show in another video make sure you monitor this one and uh, there are no additional charges uh, without a proper explanation uh, so that uh, your credit card will not be charged unnecessarily that being said if you want to just stop the virtual machine uh, make sure you go to the dashboard again click on this one um, and then click on stop and click on yes it will just take a couple of minutes to stop the instance and when you start remember that the public ip will change and you have to use the new ip uh, for both ambari as well as connecting to the instance directly and also make sure you understand that when you start the uh, vm it will take a while to access these resources That being said I hope you are enjoying the content on my channel if you like this video please click on the like button if you want to provide the feedback please use the comment section of the video if you want to discuss about uh, hadoop certifications please join my linkedin group called it university hadoop certifications and finally if you are not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will get to see lot more content like this over time thank you bye